Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm showing you guys my top 10 lipsticks and lip glosses. I have a few extras because I couldn't whittle it down enough. But I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope it's useful for you. The first lipstick is Super Cindy. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a nudie pink. I'm wearing it right now. The reason I love this one so much is because it's a really nice wearable nude and it's one that I don't need to pair with a lip liner to make it work for my skin tone. I think it's really flattering and I think it goes with any makeup look. It's just a my lips but better kind of colour. I also find that this one is a really comfortable formula. I don't necessarily like my lipsticks to last all day because what that means is they're very drying because it's very rare you find a lipstick that lasts all day and is moisturising because obviously if it's more emollient it'll come off when you eat. I really don't mind reapplying my lipstick. I'd rather reapply my lipstick than have crusty lips. So I really like this one and I really really like the formula. The next one is Huda Beauty's Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bombshell. This one's a very similar colour to Super Cindy by Charlotte Tilbury. It's a liquid lipstick so it will last a little bit longer and it's matte. So right now it's still drying down so that's why it looks a little bit glossy right now. I find that this formula is also very comfortable. It doesn't create that dry lipstick layer on top of my lips. When it wears off, it wears off nicely. Um, it doesn't leave my lips feeling really dry either so yeah, I really like this one and I think it's very comfortable. And the colour is great. The next one is Rising Star by Charlotte Tilbury. This is one of her Hollywood lips. So it's a liquid lipstick basically. This has become my absolute favourite liquid lipstick or lipstick altogether. Um, I've been wearing it for the past few months and I just find that it's so flattering on my skin tone. Um, I really like that it's a bit more pink rather than nude which I've just been wearing for like the past few years. One thing to bear in mind with this one though is that it gets pinkier as the day goes on. Like I'll look in the mirror at like 6 o'clock in the evening and it'll look like I'm wearing quite a bright lipstick whereas it's not actually that bright. So yeah, just bear that in mind but other than that it's such a nice liquid lipstick. This one also I pair with Hot Gossip which is a lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury, if I can find it. It's probably in my bag somewhere. Hot Gossip works really well with this one. It's a little bit darker, so you can contour a little bit. So yeah, this is Rising Star by Charlotte Tilbury. This next one is Sexy Lips by Charlotte Tilbury and this is one of their newer formulas. So it's this like sleek little lipstick and this one's a really moisturising formula. And the idea behind these ones was that they were similar colours to her normal range. It's a really lovely colour and it's very very moisturising and I feel like it just adds such a nice touch compared to like matte lipsticks because it, I don't know it just makes your lips look healthy, makes you look brighter, happier, I don't know, I just really like this lipstick colour and I love that it's moisturising. So my last liquid lipstick is Bloodline by Anastasia. I've had this for so many years and whenever I want to wear a red lipstick I always, always, always go for this one. I just find that it's a little bit deeper than most red lipsticks so it's a bit more flattering on my skin tone. I also love that it's a blue undertone so it makes your teeth look whiter. I stay away from purpley lipsticks because they really make your teeth look yellow um, and I like to make my teeth look white so red lipstick is amazing for that anyway but this one is my absolute absolute favourite that the name's wearing off on this one as well so you know I love it. Oh one thing to bear in mind with this one though it really makes your lips dry and cracky. Not always ideal but then again with a red lipstick you want it to stay so it's okay. Moving on to lip glosses, my favourite lip gloss is probably, well it's a tie, but it's, it, one of them is Ibiza Nights by Charlotte Tilbury. It's a really nice gold lip gloss, but it's not too gold because there's a lot of lip glosses there that have like specks of glitter. Um, this one's just a really nice sheen and it's really good on top of lipsticks as well if you want to like gloss them up, but it's really really good on its own as well. So this is Ibiza Nights by Charlotte Tilbury. This video is not sponsored by Charlotte Tilbury, I just have a lot of favourites which I didn't realise are from Charlotte Tilbury, so sorry about that. So this one is Fenty Glow by Fenty Beauty. You guys know the hype around this lip gloss, it's huge, it suits everyone, it's a really really nice colour. The colour isn't that noticeable when you've got it on, but it's just it gives you the subtlest hint of peach, it's really glossy, so 
I mean, it's everything you'd want in a gloss, really. I really, really, really love this, and it smells like watermelon. Next is NYX Creme Brulee. I've had this for ages and it's almost finished now. I found this because Hey Claire mentioned it once on her YouTube channel and I was always wondering what lip gloss she wears. It's really pretty. It's a little bit light sometimes, like I feel like it's a bit too pale for my skin sometimes, but sometimes I really like it, so just depends on my mood really. But it's well loved, so it's one of my favourites. Oh, and it's really inexpensive. Thanks, Badie. Badie just joined me now. Okay. The next one is Kiko in number 17. Kiko has lots of really good lip glosses. Alina's got a favourite in there, but we, I don't know which one it is because... I don't know that one. I don't know. It's, it might be this one. It's a really nice colour, so it adds a nice colour to your lips, but it's also got a very nice sheen, and it's another one of those that has, like, particles in it, but it's not, like, glitter particles, so it's just really nice, and um, it's quite affordable as well. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the next one, and I think this one's going to be a little bit controversial because it makes me look a bit, I don't know, it's not very... It's one that really blanks out the colour of my lips. I've got quite pigmented lips, so for a while I was just looking for a lip gloss that would mask that. And I feel like this one is like, like a proper nude lip gloss rather than like a pinky nude. So, I mean, it's quite hard to find that. So if you're looking for that, this one is Peanut Butter from NYX and it's their Intense Butter Gloss. Also, this one reminds me of the JLo kind of lip colour. Mm. She does that, doesn't she? Mm. Like it's really, really nude. And she's a woman of colour, so we can do it. Yeah. I think this one would look better with a lip liner That's maybe. That's what I was just going to say, like if you don't like this, like if you just take a darker lip liner, just a little bit darker, it's just going to make it look so, I think it's, yeah, just yeah. use a lip liner if you don't like it. Yeah, like I it. think one that would work well is Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury. This one's like a greyish brown, like it looks quite brown on my hands, but when I put it on my lips, it looks a little bit more of like that stone kind of colour, so yeah. That's a good lip liner if you're looking for one. So that's my top five lipsticks and lip glosses. I have three other lip glosses to show you guys because I couldn't help it. I really like lip glosses, so there's three more. The first one is Charlotte Tilbury's Collagen Lip Bath. This is in the shade Refresh Rose. There's one other, I believe. This one is more of like those lip glosses that have a plumping effect. It is clear. It's got very, very subtle iridescence to it. It's like a pinky iridescence. And yeah, you can kind of feel it doing something. I, I think it's got like menthol, something like that in there to really give you that fresh tingly feeling. And it also like smells really fresh as well. So yeah, I really like this one. So the next one is a Barry M lip gloss. This is in Gloss Me Up. I really like Barry M lip glosses. I like the colours that they do. They do a really nice deeper one, like a put purpley brown kind of shade. Um, this one's just really nice because it's a nice pink. Another thing with lip glosses is that you don't need to spend a lot on a lip gloss. I feel like there's so many nice ones in like Super Drug and Boots that you can get and they're just as good as like the higher end ones. So yeah, this is also one of my faves. And lastly, we have the Louboutin Beauty Lip Oil. This I've used so, so much. It's got a nice red tint to it and it's so moisturising. Obviously, it's a lip oil. It's not really a lip gloss, but it looks like one. It's really, really moisturising. One thing with this though is that once it's like sunken into your lips and it's really moisturised your lips, just the pigment is left behind. You end up with quite red lips afterwards, but it's so nice. It's so, so moisturising and I think it's worth the money. I know these are quite pricey, but I don't know if there's like a high street alternative to these. So if there is, I'll link it down below. Otherwise, I think it's worth splurging on. I think it looks really pretty and it looks good when you've got really minimal makeup on where you don't want to like wear a lipstick, you know? There's so many days where I just don't feel like wearing a lipstick and this comes in so handy then. So that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you guys pick up some of these. Let me know which ones you liked on me and if you have any and if you like them. And let me know some more that I might like because I really like changing up my lip colour every day. My makeup I don't tend to change very often but like most people I experiment with lipstick so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Where should we run to? We got the world in our hands, so we're ready to play.